Hello, my friends. Ready to start another yoga practice off with me. And I get Casey again to join us. So let's stand up at the front of our mat. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Hang forward and hang down as we start. We've got 60 minutes and it's an advanced practice meant to make us sweat and work out and feel great inside and out. So first few breaths here in this forward bend. Hang forward, hanging down, taking out our head and our neck and our shoulders and our arms to start. Bring your hands behind your back now, interlacing your fingers. Take them off your back as far as you like as our shoulders start to open up next here. I selected a lot of really great music for our hour together, so I hope you like it. A lot of different genres, a lot of different paces. It's going to keep us going this whole hour long. All right, release your hands down to the floor. Let's roll up to standing and lift your arms up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Exhale, we're folding back down to the floor from there. Now separate your feet a little wider than your mat. Right hand stays down, our left arms reach up as we twist our bodies left. Dreaming of a house on an island, I'm not the type of guy to promise stars. Bring that hand down to the floor, let's take our right arms up as we rotate to the right here. Bring that hand down to the floor. Let's roll up to standing one more time together. Take a big breath in. Arch up and back. Fold back down to the floor from there. We're walking it back into down dog from there. And pedal your legs out as we bend one knee, bend the other knee. Our calves are opening up one at a time here. your heels down evenly let's come forward into plank and lower down from there first vinyasa into up dog and back into down dog after that one day, and again let's come forward day, into plank another vinyasa lower down, down from there Arch that back up when you're ready. And back into down dog after that. Let's come into chair pose. Step or hop your feet up to your hands in chair pose from there. Take as low as you want this first one. Fold it down and straighten your legs from there. Let's just walk it back into down dog from there. From down dog, let's come forward into plank and take our first five push-ups. They're as low as you want. They might be from your knees. When you're done with number five, it's up dog and down dog from there. All right, let's add a little more. Take that right leg up in the air. Open up that hip. Let that left heel press down here. Warrior one, bring that foot up. Turn that back foot down. Warrior one starts it off here. That left hip moving forward. Sink low in that right leg as our arms reach up. And warrior two from there. Rising up through the clouds, no, never give up. Straighten your right leg. Turn your right palm up. Reverse triangle. Reach that right arm way back so our waist opens up on that right side here. Let's come back into warrior two. A few more breaths. Again, low in that right leg in warrior two. It's like kiss of death. Instead of doing what you're doing, you get caught up in your head. Feet on the road with your eyes on the prize. Inch by inch, one step at a time. You Keep your hands down you to the floor. Fly. Good. Always step back into line. plank. Do a vinyasa. Lower down from there. It's gonna be worth every mile. Into up dog Just again. And back into down dog after that. Warming up our other side now. Take that left leg up in the air. Open up that hip, let that back heel press down. Just 
Here we go, Warrior One yeah. like this now. Bring that foot up, reach up in Warrior One to start. Warrior Two next from there. Straighten that front leg, turn your left palm up, reach that arm way back. Reverse triangle here. Back into Warrior Two from there. About 10 more seconds, stay low in that left leg. Sweep your hands down to the floor. We're stepping it back into plank. Again, we've got five push-ups. It may be from your knees again. It's an advanced class. My goal is to get us in amazing shape. After that fifth push-up, up dog and down dog from there. And from down dog, step or hop it up. Chair pose again from there. This chair pose. We're lifting our heels up as we start to warm our balance a little more. Set your heels down. Fold forward and down from there. Step or hop back into plank. Lowering down again. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. And now again, let's take that right leg up in the air. Bring your right knee toward your right elbow and hold it here. Take that leg back out. One more time, right knee to that right elbow again here. Take that leg back out. Come into warrior one here. Bring that foot up, bring that back foot down. Warrior one starts it off just like before. And take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Bowing warrior. Lean forward, lean down inside that right leg. Low as you want to sink. Let's come back up in a warrior one from there. From here, let's head out to warrior three. Lean forward. Let's bring all our balance and weight to that right leg. If your arms get tired, just bring your hands to your heart or by your side. But balancing on that right leg here. Bring your hands down to the floor. Standing splits with that back leg reach up higher here. About 20 seconds, that left leg stays as high as you want it to like this. From here, step back into crescent pose. So keeping that back heel lifted as we reach back up in crescent here. Last, bring the hands together at your heart. Let's twist to the right in crescent twist on this side here. That left arm on that right thigh. Release your hands down to the floor. Good. Step it back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. That other side. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring your left knee toward your left elbow and hold it here. Reach that leg back out. 
One more time. Left knee to that. Left elbow again here. Beautiful. Reach that leg back out. Let's come into warrior one. Bring that left foot up. Reach up in warrior one to start. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Bowing warrior. Lean forward. Lean down inside that front leg. Bring it back up into Warrior One from here. And now from here, let's come out to Warrior Three. Lean forward, bring everything to balance out on that left leg. And like before, any arm positioning you want. 30 seconds working on our balance here. So good. Now, standing splits. Hands come down to the floor. That back leg then reaches high. And standing splits here. From here, we're stepping back into crescent pose. That foot goes way back. Reach it back up in crescent here. And from crescent, we're bringing our hands together at our heart, twisting your body to the left and crescent twist on this side. Release your hands down to the floor. Let's step back into plank and stay right here in plank. This song has such a good beat and a driving rhythm. Mountain climbers with that rhythm. 30 seconds, right knee, left elbow, back down, left knee toward the right elbow, back down. 30 seconds, any pace you want. I like to kind of keep it with the music, whatever you want from here. seconds keep on it keeping your feet back into plank let's just lift it back up into down dog from there so good I'm sweating <laughs> I'm really starting to work hard I know Casey is too as I look over at her all right third sequence let's take that right leg up in the air Crescent pose. Step that right foot up inside your hand. Lift up and crescent to start. Stay on that back foot. Now lean out over your right leg and stay here. So it's a little stronger for our right thigh. Step your left foot to your right foot, putting us in chair pose here. For a couple breaths, lift your right foot barely off of the floor. We're balancing on our left feet. And now, step that right foot way back, coming into crescent on the other side here. From here, lift that left heel up off of your mat for a few breaths. Again, making it a little harder to balance. Body, body, 
Set that heel down. Now bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm up to the ceiling as you twist your body left here. Now a couple options, either stay in this twist or you can turn it to one arm balance if you wanna slide that left foot back to one arm balance, either way. Bring your hand down to the floor. Make your way to plank from wherever you were. And when you're ready, lower down from plank. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Nice job on that side, that's tough. Other side, take that left leg up in the air. Crescent pose, bring that left foot up in crescent to start. What you living for the money and you're trying to get the fame What you plotting towards the power you trying to put your name When it's all done, hope it was Stay on that back foot, lean out over your front left leg and stay here When you just take what you're giving and turn your back on the prison They try to place you, we made a decision Not compromising the vision, we keep around on the mission To separate the truth and vision and dogmatic religion Step your right foot to your left, we're coming into chair pose here Couple breaths, lift your left foot barely off of the floor. We're balancing on our right foot. Now set that left foot way back, putting us in crescent on this other side. Lift your right heel up off of the mat just a little bit. Set that heel back down from there. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm up as we twist our bodies right. And your choice, stay here in this twist. Or slide that right leg back, putting us into one arm balance. If you want that option, whichever you like here. From wherever you are, make your way back into plank from there and lower down from plank. Into up dog. Back into down dog after that. Some down dog, bring your body back into plank. Come down to your forearms and forearm plank here. 10 seconds, bring your right knee toward your right tricep here. Set that right foot down. Lift your left knee, bring it towards your left tricep and hold it here. Set that left foot back down. Dolphin next. Walk your feet about halfway towards your elbows. Strong shoulders for a few more breaths here in Dolphin. Straighten one arm and the other, putting you back up into down dog from there. From down dog, bring your body back into plank. Lower all the way down to your stomach. Stay on your stomach, bend your legs, reach back, grab your ankles or grab your feet behind you. Bow pose. Lift your torso, knees and thighs up as high as you can. A strong back bend like this. Release it down. And let's turn over onto our backs from there. Hug your legs in once you're on your back. Hands by your ears or behind your head. Bicycle your body. One minute, any pace you want like this. Half 
halfway in. 30 more seconds. Keep going. Good, and a hug your legs in from there. Send your legs out on the floor. Turn back over on your stomach again. Press to your hands and knees, and then back up into down dog for us. In down dog, right leg lifts up in the air. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. Take that leg back out in the air. One more time, knee to that left elbow again. Take that leg back out in the air. Let's come into crescent. Bring that right foot up. Crescent pose to begin. your left arm forward take your right arm straight back as we twist it to the right here reverse crescent that left arm reaches up and back and back bend and a twist and working on our balance all at the same time Back into crescent pose from there. Let's head out warrior three. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg with any arm positioning you want here. Let's come into half moon. The right hand comes to the floor or to a block or hover your right hand off the floor. Either one. Left arm rises up. 30 seconds and half moon here. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Standing splits, just a couple breaths. That left leg reaches really high in the air. Let's go back into Warrior One from there. That left foot steps back. Turn your heel down. Reach up in Warrior One. Really nice work. I'm pushing this by as hard. You're doing great. Warrior Two from there. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Reach your left arm forward at an angle. In side angle here. You want to make it harder. Reach your right arm out as well. Release your hands down to the floor, nice. Stepping it back into plank, five push-ups again, maybe from your knees again. I kind of feel bad for making us do so many push-ups, but I know you can do it. Whatever you can do, low as you want, and up dog and down dog after that fifth push-up here. And that other side now. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring your left knee to your right elbow. Take that leg back out. One more time, left knee to that right elbow again. Take that leg back out. Let's come into crescent. Bring that left foot up. 
crescent pose starts do. us off here. Reach that right arm straight forward, that left arm back as we twist it left. Reach that right arm up and back in reverse crescent for us here. Back into Crescent, such good work from Crescent. Let's head out to Warrior 3. All that balance comes to our left leg. And any arm positioning that you want, but it should feel challenging, but not too intimidating. Years and years, promise my brother. Soon as he out and finished his bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real. Half moon, big. left fingers big. come down. That right arm big. rises up in half up moon here. Again, wherever you big. want that left hand, the, the floor, a block, hovering off the floor, whatever you like. 30 seconds. Bring that right hand down, standing splits, a couple more breaths, get that back leg a little bit higher. Stepping it back it into Warrior One gotta from here big. now. I gotta do it big, gotta do it big. That's the only way to live. Warrior Two next from there. Gotta do it big. I gotta do it big. And last, big. bring gotta that do left do hand big. down That's to the, the floor or block. Up. Right arm reaches out and up at an angle. If you want to add more, reach that left arm out at an angle as well. Should feel really strong for about ten more seconds like this. Release your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank and let's come all the way down to our stomach from there again. And turn over onto your back after that. We're getting into our abs again here. Casey always loves doing abs. So I'm adding these a lot in today's practice. Get your legs straight up to the ceiling, hands by your ears. Get your right hand up toward your left toes and then back down. Left hand, right toes and back down. Keep going like this. Almost a minute from here. Whatever pace you'd like. Hug your legs into your body. Let your arms extend wide out on the floor with your palms facing down. Put your legs back up to the ceiling. Like a pendulum now. Take both legs almost to the floor to the right. I'm gonna almost land on Casey. Back up to center, almost to the left. And back up. So we're going right side, left side, any pace you want. Another minute like this. If it gets hard, which it might, bend your knees while you do this. Halfway in. Good, and hug your legs back in from there. Extend your legs out. Let's turn back over onto our stomach. Let's 
take bow pose again while we're here. Bend your legs, grab your ankles or feet. Strong back lifts us up. Your torso, knees and thighs, everything reaches up as high as you can keep it. Release it down. Press back in child's pose. A couple big breaths there in child's pose. Make your way now back up into down dog. We're heading into our three more strong songs to go, about 10 more strong minutes to go. So hang with it a little bit longer. Take that right leg up in the air. Bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here. Take that leg back out. And again, knee to your nose and hold it here. Reach that leg back out in the air. Come into warrior one from here. Now pyramid pose, straighten your right leg. Reach your hands out and then down to the floor, maybe hands on a block. Fold over that straight right leg for a few breaths, letting that hamstring stretch out long. Let's come back up into warrior one from there. Bending that right knee, lifting your arms up. And then warrior two from there. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm behind your back. Maybe also wrap that right hand under having your fingers clasped behind you or take any variation you want. Maybe Bird of Paradise, whatever feels right for you. 30 seconds from here. Releasing your hands now down to the floor. We're stepping it back into plank and lowering down from there. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. Take that leg back out. One more time, bring your knee to your nose and hold it there. Reach that leg back out in the air. Coming into warrior one, bring that foot up, bring that back foot down. Reach up and warrior one to begin. Pyramid pose, straighten that left leg and reach your arms way out forward and then down on the floor or hands on a block. Folding over that left leg. If you need to bend that left knee a little to have your fingers down, that's always okay. Bring it back up into warrior one from here. Opening it up into Warrior 2 after that. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm behind your back. Maybe wrap that left hand under. Clasping your hands behind you or go anywhere you want. 30 seconds. Again, just like this. Maybe it's Bird of Paradise or whatever you'd like. Releasing your hands down to the floor from wherever you are. Step it back into plank and stay right there in plank. 
You might know what's coming next. 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Right knee to that left elbow. Back down. Left knee, right elbow. Back down. Any pace you want here. You're looking so good. I'm proud of you as we go at any rhythm we want right now. Keep your feet back into plank. Now we're lowering down from plank. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. One more sequence on each side. Take that right leg up in the air. Crescent pose. Bring that foot up in crescent to start. Head out to warrior three from there. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Take your right arm up, twisting half moon. I like to reach back and grab my foot behind me, so maybe take that if you want it, or just keep that arm straight up to the ceiling. About 20 seconds from here. Bring that hand down to the floor, standing splits. Let that back leg get a little higher. Step that left foot way back into crescent from there. Just 10 more seconds in this crescent. Let's sink as low as we can in that right leg and keep that left leg straight. Keep your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank. Five push-ups again, maybe from your knees. Take them as low as you want. When you're done with five, it's up dog and down dog from there. So good. Other side, take that left leg up in the air. Crescent pose, bring that left foot up in crescent to begin. Let's head out to warrior three from there. Our right hand comes down that left arm, either reach it straight up to the ceiling or reach back and grab your foot behind you. 20 seconds as we twist left. Twisting half moon here. Bring that hand down to the floor. Standing splits a couple breaths. Right leg reaches high in the air. Step it back into crescent from there, right where we began. 10 seconds low in that left leg, and that right leg is straight. Sweep your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank, stay right here. From plank, shoulder taps, right hand taps that left shoulder and then down. Left hand, right shoulder and down. 30 seconds, any pace you want like this. Keeping your hands back into plank. Lower all the way down to your stomach. Then turn over on your back from there. Hug your legs in once you've made it to your back. 
and then arms by our side reach your legs up to the ceiling lower your legs almost down to the floor then back up to the ceiling our last hard strong minute here go at any pace you want like this legs going down and back up keeping them as straight as you can Ten more seconds to go. And hug your legs in from there. Relax. Just set your feet down on the floor. You can grab your towel and wipe off. You can take a drink. We've been moving non-stop for 41 straight minutes. I'm giving you a big high five. I'm giving Casey a high five. Casey's giving you another high five. <laughs> such great work. Thank you for that strength and putting your body in such a healthy and powerful, powerful place. But just relax here for about half a minute on your back, resting it here. Set your feet on the floor. Let's come into the first of a couple back bends. Lift your hips up in the air. Either stay here with your hips up in bridge, interlacing your hands under you, or if you want to come into wheel, hands under your shoulders, straightening your arms, either pose, bridge or wheel. I'm gonna take wheel today. Bringing our back bends down and we're hugging our legs in from there. Good, and one more time when you're ready for it. Set your feet down. We've got bridge pose or wheel pose, whichever you want here. Bring this back bend down and hug your legs in from there. And from here, just start to rock up and back and up and back a few times, rocking your body. And that next one, let's rock it all the way up to sitting from there. We're extending both of our legs straight out in front of us. Heading into a forward bend. Reach your arms up and out and down. We've got a minute in this forward bend. A long time to relax. So slow your breath way down and rest it like this. Halfway in here. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't believe 
Bring your body up from here. Nice. Let's come into butterfly pose. So bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go wide apart. When you're ready for butterfly, just pull your torso forward and down. You want to feel your heart moving down and your head relaxing. And for this minute, again, slow your breath way, way down and just relax. Good, and bring your body up from here. And keep your right leg where it is. And take your left leg, extend it straight out in front of you. That right foot's high up inside our left thigh. We're taking our hands out and down our left legs in a forward bend here on this side. 30 seconds. You can always take the other option of twisting your torso to the right. That right arm going overhead. I'm going to take that one today just to stretch my side out a little more. Either one, half a minute like this. I promise to myself to make a change and better myself. But I don't feel any difference and that's a shame. All I want is to be a better man. Let's bring our bodies back up to center. Switch sides. Right leg extends straight out. Bring the sole of that left foot high up inside that right thigh. So take your hands out and down over that right leg. Either your torso is straight down, folded over in a forward bend motion, or it's that left arm up and overhead so you get your waist on that left side. I'm going to take that one again. Whatever you want, half a minute here. See, I've got all my family and friends. You all know how it is. They got your back and they just won't fall away. But this is something I've got to do for myself. I'm thankful, but I can't take the help. Gotta do this my way, my way. Bring your body back up. Let's come on to our backs next from there. Hugging our legs in. We've got plow pose next. If you want to take something other than plow and shoulder stand, whatever you want is fine. If it's plow, let's sweep our legs overhead. Hands on our back, on our belt line. If it doesn't feel good for your neck, just come out and take another forward bend. Otherwise, a few breaths here in plow. And either stay here for about half a minute or shoulder stand, reaching your legs up to the ceiling.
You're in shoulder stand. Let's make it back into plow. From plow, roll your back all the way down to the floor from there. Hug your legs in. Let's rock up to sitting. And pigeon on our right side. Let that right knee fall out to the right. Your left leg goes around and back. If you want to take a different hip opener, feel free. But one minute, pigeon on this first side here. Relax it and slow your breath down. Tear dots turn red now that hema glowing, flowing, keeping vampires fed. They wanted to jam me in, lock me up, and throw away the key. A pack of hyenas, he laughing at me. They took many shortcuts by backstabbing me. If I don't get out they grip, then these vultures won't dip. I ain't afraid to die and fly off to the sky, but I got more life to live. So today I'm gonna try to strive, not to hide behind my fears, hide behind the years, and hide behind these tears. Lord, please take away. All these imperfections renovate my heart and purify my soul. Do to me what I do to my floors when I send them. If you open up them doors for me, I won't be too demanding. Last couple of deep like breaths is what I here. Stand, and I'm your fierce, humble servant, just like you commanded. I got favor, got to come out, lift your head, straighten your arms. Let's make our way to the other side. Finding your way into pigeon on the left side. Maybe through down dog, maybe directly to that left side. Whatever you like. But again, you've got about a minute just like this. Find your starting place. And relax, it's here again. Make sure your neck is loose, your shoulders are relaxed. Stay right here. That's kinda odd when you stand close to the light. You bound to get burned. There's some things on this journey I had to learn on my own, but then God was in plain sight. I was never alone. Against me on this right path, many weapons was formed. They tried to point, ain't release. Bullets couldn't catch me. God opened up so many doors I couldn't think to dream. Just imagine what I can do when you be leave alone in my room. I cried, Lord, why you love me? A multitude of blessings I shouldn't have received. Dry your tears, my child. Don't you ever doubt me Girl, that sad way of thinking now Cause that's my pet peeve Many things I have in store Plant your feet and trust me I got favor God's favor And nobody Can take it from me I am worthy A very good thing And I'm gonna be Last couple deep breaths here this is here my freedom cry a prophetic selection this for all the times you covered me when i faced my rejection when things went left there you were making no corrections lift your head straighten your arms just keep that right leg around and forward and make your way to your back from there we're hugging our right legs in left leg out on the floor and coming into a twist our left hand takes the knee to the left. Right arm opens out to the right. Bring that leg back up to center, switching sides. Bring your left leg in, right leg out. When you're ready, take that twist over the other way. Our last twist here as we take the knee to the right. Bring that leg back up to center. We're heading into Shavasana. Extend your legs out on the floor. Find a position you are comfortable. And we're closing our eyes from there. We did it. 55 straight, strong, athletic, challenging minutes to make our bodies better. 
one last thing as we head into Shavasana here. Take a big breath in with us. Hold that breath in. Open your mouth, sigh that breath all out. Beautiful. And now simply relax as deeply as you like. You've earned it, you deserve it. I love how you worked. Now just rest. Begin moving your fingers and toes again. Gently slide your heels back and roll to your right side and stay right here. up to sitting. Once you're up, close your eyes, bring your hands together at your heart. I'm so proud of you. It's a challenging, hard, strenuous class, especially that first 40 minutes. Thank you for pulling your athlete out. At the end of class, I want to make sure you also embrace rest and you know how to turn off and relax and feel peaceful. Thank you for embracing the importance, the importance of that as well. That combination is yoga. And the way we package yoga, it's never easy, but it always feels incredible after. 
So thank you for that work and effort and treating yourself with such importance. It makes me happy. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for practicing and choosing to do yoga with us today. Wherever you are, whatever you do, have a beautiful day from here on out. Thank you and namaste. Well done. That was a really hard class. How did you feel? It was hard. It's hard. Thank you. Hard apparently is the word. It was tough and challenging. Thank you for doing it. Uh, I came in feeling like 90%. I just played softball, so I was tired, but did it. Casey wasn't quite 100% too, but we thought we should do it. Make a hard class. Work as best we can and do that with you. Thank you for practicing. I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep up the amazing work. Bye. Thank you.